Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for September 25th, 2019. Well, my oh my, what a mess we made yesterday in the charts. And it, what a challenging market this is to try and trade. Yesterday I mentioned, and I happen to be correct, and I say happen because all I did was look at the price action of the chart. There was no prediction here, guys. None whatsoever. Just look at the price action of the chart. And I mentioned yesterday that we have this resistance right up here in this area. And the gap up yesterday morning, I said, watch this. Be careful not to chase into that morning open because this resistance level is pretty strong. If we can pop through there, great. And hold up there, we would have an opportunity to move higher and attack all-time highs in the uh, in the market but I but I mentioned the fact that we didn't want to rule out the possibility of a pop and drop where we gap up into a, an area gap up into price resistance and we always have to be thinking about price support resistance and trend watching that price action as we attack these different levels in a chart and yesterday's pop-up um, certainly met with those sellers, the defenders up here defending that support, and those bears immediately began to uh, drive it back down. Now it really gained energy later on in the in the morning um, with the president um, speaking at the UN and offering up some pretty harsh tough talk on um, China and uh, trade their trade practices and that you know obviously escalated tensions making everyone feel a little bit more uncertain about um, where the trade negotiations are going to go and we continued to fall pretty sharply now by the end of the day we caught a little bit of a rally recovering just a little bit but certainly nothing that really changes the bearish look of this chart that bearish engulfing candle and we came very very close to making that test of the 50-day moving average that i've been talking about you know when we cross above a 50-day moving average it's very very typical we find some way to either consolidate that or test that 50-day moving moving average and that is what's going on right now this morning we have futures looking just a tiny bit lower um, surprisingly not much lower because um, the way we saw Asia trade last night substantially lower across the board and European markets substantially lower across the board this morning um, US futures are trying to put on a brave face this morning saying uh, we're not really that scared uh, we'll have to watch, wait, and see if that's actually true at the open. Or um, will we um, open up and then continue to drive down toward that 50-day moving average? I got to tell you, I would find it to be pretty unlikely that we would get this close to the 50-day moving average um, in the Dow with a, a, a little bit of a downtrend here and not see us eventually test that level as support. So let's watch that closely. Now, of course, what we want to see is that we actually hold it as support, that we hold in here and bounce off of that and start getting more bullish um, in the market that would actually be a positive pattern breaking above the 50 pulling back holding it and then breaking on through to the upside that is a bullish pattern in the market so we'd want to watch for that what would be devastating to the market and adding tremendous technical damage is if we happen to break on through and continue selling on through that 50-day moving average that would certainly create technical damage that may be very, very difficult for the market to recover from for a period of time. Um, so kind of keep that in mind if that were to occur. Um, we, we have some price support. You can see it's really messy in here, but we have some price support um, along this area. So if we were to lose it, um, holding in here would be really critical. Let's take a look at um, the SPY. SPY really quickly, um, it made an, 
in a, a test of the 50 day moving average. I mean, kissed it almost perfectly yesterday. Kissed that 50 day moving average and got a little bounce by the end of the day. So we could call this right now a successful test. What will have to happen today though, is if we see more pressure in the diamonds, whether or not we're going to see that pressure actually push us down through here. And honestly, guys, that wouldn't be a real big surprise. When you think about that, we see this a lot. When we see a support level in the market, what happens often is we get those market makers and things like that. They see a group, a big group of stop losses down here in this area. And we drive that market down through there, strip out those stop losses, and then we get the actual real bounce. So watch that carefully. That is still a possibility that we could slip um, the SPY down below there, at least for the short term. So watch that close today. Um, pretty disappointing to see this, but if we can hold in this area, if we can hold, if we can find that place in here where we can bounce and get that bullish action, then we have um, actually that bullish pattern, that lower high that we wanna see in a chart, gives us a better launching pad to attack all time highs in the market. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ. Now here, this is a problem. Um, the NASDAQ, slicing through its 50-day moving average decidedly leaving behind a real bearish looking pattern here and what we're going to have to watch and wait for first off if we continue to push lower today that only increases the technical damage here in the chart let's let's be very aware here that what occurred um, in the nasdaq is we've never been able to break out um, to a new high print. In fact, we've put in shooting star top, shooting star top, both of those lower highs. So not exactly um, the bullish patterns that we would like to see here in the NASDAQ. So any push lower only increases the pressure here on the market. And if we were to continue to fail, um, obviously we're giving up some, uh, some big levels of support in here. Notice we do have price support right through this area as well. It's kind of messy. It's junky, but we could bounce off of this area. And if we do, what we're going to have to now watch for is watch for this failing pattern right in here. If we do bounce back, any rally back up toward this 50 day moving average has to be suspect. We have to watch that pretty closely for that potential. We rally back up into here and then see additional failure continuing this trend to the downside. But the way I've got this trend on right now, we could actually see that rally all the way up into here before that failure were to occur because of the whippiness of the market. This doggone uncertainty and this political drama that just keeps um, escalating. We just keep piling more and more stinky, festering uncertainty um, on top of more uncertainty, on top of more uncertainty in the, this political uh, theater that we've got going on right now. Um, and it only escalated yesterday afternoon when Congress decided to open an impeachment, impeachment inquiry into uh, Donald Trump, um, President Trump, on the, um, well, uh, abuse of power is what they're alleging, and we'll have to wait and see if that's really true. Obviously, um, no one's above the law, and we could have damaging effects from that. So uh, as this political drama unfolds, just expect lots of news-driven news reports, lots of whip, lots of all kinds of nastiness can come from that kind of political drama. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM also made that quick trip down there, just kind of uh, jumped out of a window um, down to the support of its 50-day moving average, but it did eventually hold. So if we catch a hold here, great. That's a good sign. That's a good thing. But we I think what we've done is we've actually increased some technical damage here in IWM. After breaking through this downtrend, 
proving unable to hold that downtrend as support. So now any rally back up, we will have to watch this area in here as price resistance and that possibility that we fail right there um, resuming a downtrend hopefully that's not the case but it's not pretty at the moment and we're going to need those bulls to really step up and work hard here and i'm not really sure where they're going to find that inspiration with all this ins um, uncertainty out there let's take a look at the vix vix yesterday caught a little bit of fear spiking up pretty substantially yesterday on all this news we had this breakdown here of this trend and i've been mentioning all along the possibility possibility that we find support off of that downtrend that seems to be the case at least at the moment and we've rallied up here breaking back through this resistance level here so what's going to be critical here is not necessarily the breakthrough what's going to be critical here is if we happen to pull back in this area and we happen to find support if we create a higher low in here we could be beginning that uptrend we still have to break this little downtrend here but we could beginning uh we could begin that uptrend if that fear really starts to come up so technically in this chart we have some challenges right now and we're going to have to watch that pretty closely um as we move forward let's take a look at t2122 now t2122 gave us um, indications for some time that we have been stretched out in this market and uh, overbought and and that has really proved to be accurate although it's been really choppy and ugly price action in proving it it has proved to be accurate here we reached up here in this bearish reversal zone and we pushed back lower now this morning we're we're opening today in here um, right about the 50% level here um, in this chart. And that means we've opened a window for upside rally. So we have a pretty good opportunity for an upside rally here. We also have that pretty good opportunity for that continued selling to the downside. So watch that close. It's not out of the question. We've seen this many times before. When we're up here in this area, we find a way. We may bounce around and find a way to come back down into this area. So keep that in mind. There's still be still room to the downside, even though no one wants that to occur. Um, with all this political uncertainty, it certainly is possible. So watch that. We could go either direction here today, according to T2122. Let's take a look at our economic calendar today. Our economic calendar may have something to say about um, the market um, and where we go today. And our economic calendar, whoops, just a second here. There we go. Our economic calendar has a couple things that are important on this to be watching today first off the big the big number of the day is going to be uh, the home sales home sales are going to be a critical um, measuring stick for um, the market as of now home sales have, have maintained very very strong very very um, good results in those home sales so we'll have to see if that maintains today. That could certainly be a stumbling block today if we happen to get a surprise on this, that a reduction kind of supporting the global slowdown idea. If that stays strong, we could have that bullish move off of that. So watch that close. And then later today at 1030, we have the e, uh, petroleum status report. Now, of course, with the challenges over there in Iran, uh, I mean, in Saudi Arabia, we could see some fluctuation in this as well. So we'll want to watch that pretty closely. And then keep a keep an eye uh, out here. We have Fed speakers today. Um, don't expect them to move the market around at all. But anytime you have a Fed speaker, you do have to kind of be aware that uh, they're out there uh, chirping away. And if they re were to say something un unexpected, um, that's when the market uh, reacts to that. So watch those close let's take a look at our earnings calendar today 
Not a whole lot going on the earnings calendar today. Um, we only had about 15 companies um, on the calendar stepping up to report, and no big surprising reports really to move the market around. But we do have like KBH, KBH um, expected to report today. And it looks like it may be gapping up like it already reported and looking good. Um, FUL is about the only um, notable reports that I could come up with today and on the calendar. So just keep an eye on those. Unlikely they're going to help or hinder the market at all today. It'll be more of a news-driven market, I think, today um, that we're going to have to deal with. Let's take a look at, um, well, before we do, before we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up, uh, let's... Um, take a second and i want to ask you a favor if if you find these videos useful if if this is the first time you've seen these videos do me a favor and click that subscribe button on youtube and click that thumbs up or not the thumbs up but click the um bell icon that's what i wanted to say the bell icon when it pops up to make sure you're notified every time i post one of these videos you know every single market day i post one of these videos and i do my very best job in trying to eliminate all the hype all of the prediction and just looking at the technicals of the chart and for those of you who watched this yesterday and in my my discussion about price resistance up there i hope you took advantage of that information and avoided that risk of that pop and drop that i suggested could occur not that it would occur that it could occur and i gave the reasons why and hopefully you're finding some benefit in these videos if, if you are finding some benefit in these video, videos, please click that thumbs up button as well and also leave a brief comment. Even, a th even just clicking the thumbs up is all you need. Any comment um, counts and it helps the algorithm show these videos to more folks, helping us continue to grow. Thank you everyone. Your comments, I gotta tell you, your comments are so humbling to me and I truly, truly appreciate each and every one of you that takes the time to do that. It, it means the world to me. Thank you very, very much. So with that, let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But I got to tell you guys, this is such a mess. The market is such a mess. It's really, really difficult to come across those great stocks um, and, and really good setups because we're whipping back and forth. You know, I've been mentioning Google as a possible trade and it popped up yesterday, was looking beautiful in this pattern. Yesterday's price move um, drove it down and now bearish engulfing. This could be a failure here at this resistance area. Take a look at Facebook. Facebook, I think, is is a short trade at this point, failing at its 50-day moving average and really accelerating that move to the downside yesterday. Um, Facebook is not looking good, and I would suggest the possibility of a test of support down in here, maybe even all the way down to its 200-day moving average at this point. Not looking too healthy here and certainly creating technical damage in this chart that may be a little bit difficult to repair. We saw that in a lot of different areas yesterday, but we saw some of those good signs as well. We saw John Deere, John Deere holding up and actually moving higher yesterday. John Deere, that nice little pattern move showing some strength. We have to watch these resistance levels in this air, uh, up here, but John Deere trying to move higher and holding up strong. We saw a BMY that had been moving up in this great pattern get kind of thumped hard yesterday uh, putting in an evening star type pattern here whoops I didn't mean that tool this evening star type pattern which would suggest more lows in that chart but let's keep in mind it could find price support right here and just move a little bit sideways and then continue its trend on up so let's watch that close the, put that on the watch list watch it close for that potential to do that and hold on um, in that chart. Um, we had stocks like uh, PBYI. I've brought up this chart a couple of times before. PBYI actually moving on up yesterday. This is a rounded bottom breakout pattern. And there was my alert on this trade. And rounded bottom breakout where we 
pushed down, tested that 50, bounced off of that, started back higher. PYBI, PBYI is looking good this morning and may actually even be trying to move higher yet again this morning. So keep an eye on that chart. Um, chart CLDR. This is a little guy. Um, nice nice little uh, chart here holding a beautiful trend broke through this price resistance in this gap moved up very cleanly pulling back and starting back higher now yesterday a bit of a pullback in this but what, what I want to watch right in here is this little level oops my tools changed here for some reason on their own Give me just a second. What I'm watching for here is this level of a little bit of little level of support in here to see if that can hold and then continue to move this on up um, in this chart. Don't be surprised if this has to consolidate for a while with all this uncertainty in the market. But CLDR continuing to hold up, looking pretty good. Um, Campbell Soup is one that um, I've been watching pretty closely, and uh, Rightway Options has been trading, and we were looking for this potential potential pop out here yesterday's price action driving it back down so we'll have to watch this closely if we can hold this level of support right here in the chart we may be okay in this trade but we'll want to watch that closely with this uncertainty in the market all these swings back and forth can certainly create a lot of trouble in the market if you're looking to hedge yourselves um, in the market maybe taking a look at like vxx vxx holding itself up pretty well here, leaving those higher lows um, here in the chart. We do have resistance in this chart to worry about. So this is the um, uh, the VIX short-term futures. And um, you can see it's moving on up here this morning with the market declining. Might wanna start watching some of these charts like this if you wanna hedge yourself um, in the market or some of those inverse ETFs might be helpful in a market like this. Also note, take note of GLD gold moving higher yesterday, moving on up in this trend, holding up strong, holding price support levels, and looking pretty good overall. Gold, one of those safe haven plays if the market gets uncertain, folks will rush to things like gold for a little bit of protection. Also take a look at, at silver. Um, silver showing positive signs yesterday, moving on higher as did utilities, XLU, take a look at XLU, the utilities ETF, moving substantially higher. These are those safety plays that um, everyone um, wants to be concerned about in a market like this, because when we get these safety plays coming in and seeing that much energy coming into them, there's always worry that we're seeing that reversal uh, where, we're, where we're liquidating out um, risk assets to more of the safety plays um, in the market. So watch those close. So a few things for you to watch, pay attention to. Be real careful out there, guys. It's a dangerous market, very, very difficult to trade and very challenging challenging unless you're trading really quick intraday charts. It's really not much of a swing traders market right now. So be careful and protect yourself. I want to wish you all a great day. Thank you very, very much for watching and we'll talk to you all bright and early Thursday morning. Have a good one now.